What's going on, everybody? The Alan Rex coming to you live. <clears throat> I got another video. I want to talk about this because uh, I always see this uh, topic coming up. Uh, Keith Thurman, you know, ducking Earl Spence, and I'm gonna just say this from the from the beginning. Like the problem with a lot of these guys, they think that they're Floyd Mayweather. They think it took. Let's get this out the way. Like nobody just jumps up and become Muhammad Ali. Nobody just jumps up and become uh, Mike Tyson, or nobody just jumps up and become. Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant, uh, Tom Brady, Joe Montana. I'm talking about legends. Like, nobody just wake up a legend. That doesn't happen. You know, it just doesn't happen. It takes years and years and years and years for somebody to get to a, a high level. So I'm watching the interview. I had already seen the Floyd Mayweather interview where he said that Earl, that uh, Keith Thurman was ducking. He was ducking. Keith Thurman was ducking Earl Spence. I seen the interview already, right? So I seen where Keith Thurman replied and seen what he had to say. And first of all, why are you tired of hearing this question? This, this, why are you tired of hearing? This is a reporter's job. They're going to, of course, Floyd Mayweather is one of the biggest figures of all time. So, of course, they're going to report it. They want to get a reaction out of you, and they want to get your answer. Your, your, they want to hear your answer. They want to hear your initial reaction. Why are you tired of hearing this question? Maybe there's a reason why you're tired of hearing this question. You're going to get asked this. You're going to get asked. Why? So, you, you they don't bring up even if they, let's say they bring up another fighter, you telling me you're going to get tired of hearing that? It's a, Maybe it's a reason why he's tired of hearing it. And I don't have nothing against Keith Thurman. I've never been, like, really high on him. But these guys are acting like they're Floyd Mayweather, like they put the work in. It took Floyd years and years to get the way he got to. And in the interview, when the guy asked him about what Floyd, uh, what he had to say about Floyd, he says... He didn't fight Shane Mosley when everybody, you know, wanted him to fight Shane Mosley. He didn't fight Manny Pacquiao when everybody wanted him to fight Manny Pacquiao. Do you understand? Like, it took years. He done fought so many people before. He fought Hall of Famers before he got to that level to where he could say he don't want to fight anybody. Or he could pick if he want to fight somebody or not. You're not at that level. You didn't make the type of money that he made, made in the sport. You didn't put the type of work in. If okay, let's go through the names before he got to that point of a, a Shane Mosley, and he called Shane. You go back in the, in the past, he fought Shane Mosley in his prime. I mean, he fought not in his prime. I'm sorry, he fought Shane Mosley. By the time he fought Shane Mosley, he already beat champions, and he called Shane Mosley out in his prime. That's what I meant to say. He called Shane Mosley out in his prime. What did Shane Mosley say? Oh, I, I got to go see a doctor, blah, blah. Go back to see. Y'all see Floyd Mayweather, the, the current Floyd Mayweather. Y'all see Money Mayweather. We talking about Pretty Boy Floyd. Go back to Pretty Boy Floyd. Emmanuel Augustus. Janelle Hernandez. Castillo Twice. Atoro Gotti. Ricky Hatton. Undefeated. Diego Corrales was undefeated. Juan Manuel Marquez, Demarcus Corley, Zab Judah, Oscar De La Hoya. Like, these are legends in the sport. Like, these people put in work. These are these are these people are going to go down as Hall of Famers in the sport. And it took years for Floyd Mayweather to get to that point, to that status, to where he could fight who he wanted to fight. Keith Thurman has never been in, in those type of fights before. Come on, man. Like, you got to be. These guys are thinking they can go in and get these big paydays and fight these big names and, and, and get the same type of money. It's different levels. You got to work your way up. You don't see somebody just going to come in and say, you know what? I, wanna, I, I feel like I should be able to play Kobe. 
I want to play. I want to play Kobe, or I should. I should be able to make Kobe type of money. You're not a Kobe type of player. Shouldn't be getting Kobe money if you're not putting up Kobe numbers. Kobe got five championships. It's levels, bro. Like it's levels. If Kobe got five championships, he got one MVP, scoring titles, all defensive first teams nine times. You're not on the level of Kobe, bro. He been putting in work. Michael Jordan been putting in work years and years. You can't just come out and say, "Oh, I, I could just I just got overlook him." When you fought guys like Bundu. Come on, man. You making you, you didn't fight no. When have you fought a, a Oscar De La Hoya? Be serious, bro. Like y'all gotta really look at these things. They talking about some Floyd Duck, the Mir Khan. Like, why? Why does he have to fight? So you telling me this man done beat Canelo Alvarez undefeated? One of the top fighters when he fought him. Because when he fought him, everybody was, they made excuses. So, it's it's just crazy, man. Like, it's, it's, just, it's just funny to me. Like, a lot of these fighters think they're entitled. They, you got to earn it. Like, you got to build your way up. You got to build your way up. So, so you talking about some, oh, they're going to say uh, he was too young and and they're going to discredit. They discredit. They did the same thing with Bundu. What did you gain from fighting? What is that guy name? I cannot remember that guy name. That Because uh, Amir Khan fought the guy too. Let me look it up. What has that guy really done in the past couple years? I got, I got to find this man's name. Just give me a second. I'm going to the Wikipedia page. You're getting tired of getting asked the same question. Why? You're a professional fighter. They're going to ask you these questions. Luis Colazzo. Come on, man. Like I said... It's not like this guy fought legends in the sport, like tons and tons of legends. Legend, like Floyd has fought legends in the sport before he got to the point where he said, I'm going to fight Manny Pacquiao. I'm going to fight Manny Pacquiao this, at this time. He done made tons of money in the sport. He was the biggest draw in boxing at the time. He could do that. You're not the biggest draw in boxing. The fans... I'm looking at the comments. The fans just don't know what they're talking about. They're like, oh, Floyd Duck, the mere comment. This man put years in the sport. Been world champion for years. Made hella money. The face of boxing. When you're the face, you get call shots like that. You Come on, bro. Going in there and say, oh, I, wanna, I want this type of payday. I want this type of money. I want to make this type of money. But you ain't even putting the work. You just gonna let that's like being on the street and, and a young guy like oh yeah man like a, a young sixteen year old come out the streets and, and, and this nigga's out there that's been putting in years and years of work and he just come out there and just think that he gonna run the block or think that he could be able to put in big work and can put out you know what I'm saying can, can sell big weight and, and and make and make moves look at him like nigga hell no nah, get out of here bro like you ain't been putting in work it's guys who been putting their life into this shit and you talking about some you just think you gonna come out here and take over? Hell no. You gotta earn it. And that's no disrespect to Keith Thurman. He's a great fighter, but he hasn't lived he haven't lived up to the name one time. What has he done? But anyway, man, make sure y'all click that subscribe button. I'm out.